Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. This time I decided to design this digital DC load circuit. So here is the main board. And these two are the family members of this board, probably brother or sister or whatever. Here is the display and OLED type. Of course I selected a bigger model because it is easier to show or I can say easier to read the values on, on a bigger display like this. And you can adjust the current using this multi-turn potentiometer. Okay. You should power the board using a USB Type-C cable and this connector like this. So you would need a mobile charger which you have already. And here is the values. Naturally all of them are zero because the board is has not been connected to somewhere and voltage current and power and all of them are zero at the moment. In the next step I will disconnect all of these uh, uh, cables and explain the board. All right now it is much easier to explain the board. If you hear a fan noise is because I record this video on 4k and my camera gets hot pretty quickly when I record on 4k and it, uh, and turns off itself automatically for self-protection. That's why you hear this fan noise and it is a computer fan on the back side of the camera. Anyway, here is the top side of the board and this is the bottom side. I designed the schematic and PCB using Altium Designer and I will put a link for you to download this PCB project from the Altium 365 cloud space. So don't miss the next step because I will explain the schematic and PCB in more details and I will tell you how you can download this project from the Altium 365 cloud space. Anyway, this is the input connector. You can apply up to 25 volts and 5 amps continuously and you should put this board between the load and ground like, like this diagram. So follow this diagram to put your board between the load and uh, between the load and ground. These two are shunt resistors and this chip reads the voltage and current values from this shunt and sends the data to the microcontroller through the I2C network. The clearance of this chip is very low so you should have a microscope and micro soldering tools to solder this component. Otherwise it is hard to solder this component using an ordinary iron. And also you need a high quality flux to solder this. Otherwise it is pretty easy to make solder joints between the pins. This op amp and this MOSFET builds a constant current circuit. And these four resistors are on the source pin of the MOSFET. It is a famous, this is a famous uh, constant current circuit. Here is the empower of the board, I mean the power connection comes through this filter, the low pass filter and uh, goes through this uh, shunt uh, regulator. This is a small shunt regu regulator, TL431 shunt regulator to stabilize the voltage precisely. Okay, because we want no fluctuation in the input voltage to the op amp and this uh, multi-turn potentiometer adjusts the input voltage to the main potentiometer that adjusts the current. Let's go to the back side. This is the crystal. Okay, the crystal and the uh, uh, decoupling capacitors for the microcontroller. Nothing very much on the back side and I didn't put the pull-down resistors for the USB Type-C the connector because the current consumption of this board is pretty small so these two resistors are not mandatory on the CC1 and CC2 pins. Anyway that's enough for now. All right here is the home page of Altium Designer. Just don't forget to visit this link in my YouTube video description and fill out a form that allows you to download the latest version of the Altium and activate it with a free legal license. Then you will see your name here, the same as me, and you can create your own Altium 365 cloud space 
and share your projects with your friends and colleagues for modification and checking. Later on, if you didn't update your license, uh, didn't upgrade your license, at least this license is uh, free for one month and you can decide to change or upgrade it or not. If you didn't upgrade, at least you can download my projects from my Altium 365 space. So here is the PCB document, uh, I mean the schematic and PCB. Let me tell you the main benefit of Altium 365, that's why I emphasize it. Consider you are in a team of five people uh, designing this PCB and you decide to modify the capacitance of C5. You modify this and press the share. So it clearly says the project is updated with changes made by team members. So when you make your own modifications and you share the project or share the modifications, the PCB documents of all of your team members are updated instantly. Consider that you want to do this manually. You have to exchange many emails if you don't make any mistake in the process. This is very time consuming and this is much more important if you are in a big company and you are just assigned to design, for example, the power supply part. So you just share the modifications of your own team members, for example, if you are two or three designing that power supply. Let me show you, let me show you the my 365 space. So as I told you, my vanitar is my space. I have uploaded these two projects. When you double click on this project, you will see the schematic, PCB and the 3D. You can uh, place your comment in each, in, in each and any part of these documents. And with that license, with that free license, you can check all of these features yourself. Let me explain the schematic. Here's the input power, I mean, I mean the power to the circuit, USB Type-C. Uh, from here, so this is the USB Type-C. As I told you, these two pull-down resistor are, resistors are not mandatory because the current consumption of this circuit is low. The power of the USB comes through this uh, filter, these two capacitors, and this ferrite bead, and this Electrolyt electrolytic capacitor for the maximum noise reduction then comes through here and it passes through this shunt, resist uh, shunt regulator because we want, uh, we want the minimum voltage fluctua fluctuations here. It should be minimized. This is a sensitive part of the circuit. Then comes through this potentiometer and goes to the main, main potentiometer. So I think you have a question why I have put this potentiometer here consider you want to adjust this circuit to just uh, adjust the current from 0 to 1 amp then you reduce the voltage using this potentiometer and then the course of your main potentiometer is bigger it means you can adjust for lower currents much much easier because for example if the voltage here is 1 volt and you reduce it to half volts then uh, the variance of this potentiometer or I mean the steps of this potentiometer is bigger. I think you got, you got the picture of what I mean. It is a little bit difficult to explain in English. That's why I put this potentiometer here. This is the famous circuit of constant current circuit, this op amp and this MOSFET. And these two components are to establish this network. Otherwise, uh, when you set for a current, uh, this value might be fluctuate. And this is the uh, main problem of this circuit without these components, these two components. So these two components are essential to establish this constant current circuit. These four resistors are, are in parallel to enhance uh, the tolerance and also to increase the power rating of these resistors. So each resistor is rated at uh, 3 watts, it means in total 12 watts of power. Then they can tolerate uh, the 5 amp of current easily because the maximum current is around 5 amps. So this is the input connector, goes to this shunt resistor, 
if you remember from the previous section and this chip reads the voltages and current values uh, if you check the data sheet of this chip you won't find you won't find these components i have added these components for the maximum noise reduction because the input might be noisy also the maximum input voltage is 20, 26 however i put 25 because i consider that that noise that input noise that might damage damage this chip so this network is for noise reduction as i told you and this is also an rc filter in the input for noise reduction of this chip so you know these two pull pull up cap, uh, resistors for the i2c network sda and scl comes to the microcontroller the microcontroller is 80 mega 328 uh, the clock source is a crystal 12 megahertz crystal and uh, the package size is smd very small the microcontroller drives the oled display the display interface is spi and this, these two are the uh, decoupling capacitors for the microcontroller so this one remained this is the isp interface for programming for avr programming interface so you should have an avr programmer which is pretty cheap actually anyway let's go to the pcb so it is a two layers pcb board red is the top and blue is the bottom layer when you design a PCB for high current applications, you have to implement copper planes like this. Uh, that's why I have designed this high current area like this. If I enable the single layer mode, you can see that I have implemented this copper plane, for example, and I have copied the same, same area on the bottom layer. I mean this one. And I have tied both of these areas using these thick wires so this is natural uh, you have to follow similar something similar to this in your pcb uh, to be able to carry high amount of current although on this pcb the maximum current is 5 amps it's not that much high however it is a good practice that you follow something similar to this also the resistance of this area should be as low as possible because i have used this shunt resistor here and the resistance of this copper area will add some tolerance to the value of the shunt resistor and we don't want something like this so that's why i have implemented this area uh, with with the attention to the current handling and lower resistance of the copper area which i mean both of these is almost identical so low resistance means higher current capability and you can see the wires these wires are thick the second point is the grounding so i have put the ground plane on the top and also on the bottom and i have tied both of these layers using these many wires or vias these are to reduce the length of the ground pass and to reduce the noise so it's a good practice that you follow in your design as well all right here is the arduino code for the microcontroller and the microcontroller is 80 mega 328 here is the declaration of the libraries and i have used this library to communicate with the current sensing chip the i2c address of the chip is this one for the in hexadecimal and uh, and this library to communicate with the oled display and why this library because the a uh, driver chip of the display is SSD 1309 this is different from SSD 1306 so you should be careful because if you use a library for SSD 1306 it will not work and the communication type is hardware SPI and these three pins uh, have been defined here chip select reset and data command pins so I have initialized the libraries here and here I'll read the values through I2C 
through I2C bus using this library and then I show the data on the display. I will provide this code in the article. So let's go to the testing section. All right, now I'm gonna test the device. So a USB type C cable to power the board and I have connected my power supply wires directly to the input terminal. Otherwise, you should connect your load between the input wire, the positive input, and the positive input of the terminal. Use a bigger heatsink. This heatsink is just for testing purposes. This MOSFET generates a lot of heat. So, this is the input voltage. Let me increase the current to, for example, let's say 600 milliamps. Okay. If this is a real constant current load, then changing the input voltage should not affect the current consumption. So let me decrease the input voltage. So now the input voltage is 3 volts. Still, it draws 600 milliamps. Let me increase the input voltage. So the input voltage is 23 volts. Still, it draws around 600 milliamps. And this voltage is the voltage of the terminal. So if you connect your load, then this voltage would be the input voltage minus, the, uh, minus your load voltage, okay? So be careful about that. So anyway, this is the proof of the device. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We will do something else in the next video.